Hi everyone, it's Jeff with Home Repair Tutor and today I'm going to share with you how to unclog a bathtub drain the right way so that you don't have to deal with soap scum building up on the sides of the bathtub and water will actually drain down into the pipes. So let's get to it. Okay, you want to place a paper towel over the bathtub drain because you're going to re remove the screws from the overflow valve here, okay? The last thing you need is for a screw to fall down the drain. Once you remove the screws, you can pull out the lever and the plunger, okay? Now, sometimes the plunger has hair all over it. In this case, it does not, which is, means that the clog is down in the drain. Now you have to remove the screen. If there isn't hair on your lever, what you can do is reach down in, that means that the clog is a little bit higher up in the pipe, and fish down in there with needle nose pliers. As you can see, I'm just pulling out tons and tons of hair, okay? All right. So all this hair was down in where this tub shoe is, and the tub shoe runs to the front of the bathtub and then down into a P-trap or a drum trap. Hopefully though, it doesn't make it that far. You can just yank it out. Now, you could also use a special tub removal tool to remove this drain so that you can fish down in there a little bit better. But I didn't have to do that today, which is a good thing. Obviously you want to discard all the old hair into a bag. Get a few other paper towels. Clean this up. Before you put anything back together, always test to see if water drains properly. Run the water for about a minute or two. If you really want to be safe, run it for five minutes and see if it drains. Looks a lot better. Totally draining. And that's how you save 70 to $90 on a plumber's call. But I'll show you how to put everything back together. Okay, so what you do, just put your screen back in place, put your screw back down in, tighten it. I would never use a drill or an impact driver to tighten this screw. You could break it and you could break uh, the tub shoe as well. You want to take your overflow valve and the plunger on the end of it. Make sure there's no hair or grime in there. Just clean all that off if you can, okay, with toilet paper, which I obviously did not. Because the grime that's in it and through it and whatnot, sometimes that catches hair and all sorts of crazy muck and yucky stuff. Stick the plunger down into the waste pipe, the overflow pipe. Okay. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to show you that there are two holes here, okay, where these screws go that hold the trim kit in place. And there's also a washer here that butts up against the back of your bathtub. Just make sure that that washer is in halfway decent shape because that's what prevents water from going down. If water would ever oh, overflow into this overflow valve, you want it to go down that pipe and not behind the bathtub. And the washer prevents that from happening. So line up the screw by hand with the hole in the overflow pipe in the back. Just tighten it a little bit. Whoops. Take the other screw and do the same thing. Don't over tighten this too much, just enough to make sure that that seal is compressed. And that's how you unclog a bathtub the right way. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments section and make sure you visit homerepairtutor.com. Sign up for the email newsletter because you're gonna get a ton of really helpful cost-saving tips for your own home improvement projects. So that's it, take care, have a great day.